Yeah, escape is actually the right word for it. Uh, I was uh, watching Argo with my two sons the other night, and the scene at the airport when they're escaping Tehran reminded me a lot of when I left uh, Cuba with my mother and my sister at the age of 12. It was a harrowing experience. Uh, Cuba really is a devil's island of, of communism. It was a, it was a great place. Uh, had its problems, of course. Uh, my, both of my parents uh, uh, fought against Batista, uh, not with guns, but they, they supported uh, the struggle against Batista. My grandfather was more of an activist against Batista, and in fact, my grandfather had to leave the house several times because Batista would send the police to my house to get them. But Batista was a, a kitten compared to the 60-year dictatorship by, by the Castros, which is communism, which has eviscerated Cuba's culture. Uh, you know, it was really cultural genocide, what happened in Cuba. The Cuba that my, my ancestors built, uh, that my family enjoyed, is, is gone. There's, no, there's, a, there's an island called Cuba, but that Cuban culture is no longer existent and never will be again. Uh, and I think people ask me, well, your, your, your experiences in Cuba must guide what you do today. And, and they do, and I'm going to explain now how they do it, but, it, you know, I don't want to give a short shrift to the other experiences I've had. I've lived uh, overseas for 15 years as an American foreign correspondent. I've lived under fascism and communism, under military dictatorship, under uh, populist governments, under democracies of different uh, shades and hues, and that has also greatly informed my thinking. But I think that with Cuba uh, is the cultural genocide, and that I believe is what BLM and the other uh, next-gen Marxists, and that's the title of my next book with Catherine Gorka, uh, the next-generation Marxists are trying to, to really have a cultural genocide in this country. And ha having seen it, I want to make sure that I do everything I can to stop them.